What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with not Idle Heroes, but something very, very similar to Idle Heroes, and it's called Infinite Magic Rage. So the game just launched last night globally. Uh, it is made by DH Games as well. If you guys have ever wanted to play like old school Idle Heroes where like 10 star meta was like kind of the tippy top, there weren't too many pay to win currencies and game modes and everything, you might enjoy jumping in and playing this game, even free to play, because I'll be honest, free to play, you can make a ton of progress if you target the right heroes and if you want to go I'm, I'm gonna put a link uh up there up there go over to Barry gaming to our second channel we're already up to almost 14,000 subscribers we're growing that channel very fast it is gonna be the mainstay for infinite magic raid just like this channel is the mainstay for idle heroes uh, it has a ton of guides we already have tier lists out some beginner guides a whole bunch of things explaining the game to you so make sure you guys check it out but let's jump into the game and let you guys see what it is all about So first thing you'll notice, the aesthetic looks very, very different compared to Idle Heroes, but it has a similar gameplay when we come to something like combat. So I'll show you guys what combat kind of looks like here. Uh, I'll try to farm up one of our older fights here. Uh, there's cool little cutscenes if you play with audio. That's great. I usually don't. Uh, let me try to fight one of these that we've actually haven't got all the stars for just yet. Uh, let's put you up here. That should be fine for our team right now. So let's go into combat. So you'll notice battling. It can be the same as idle heroes. It can be different than idle heroes. It just depends on what you want to do. Behind my face, there is an auto battle button. If you want to, you can pick it. Uh, if you don't want to, you don't. But it is a turn-based combat system. You can manually do it as you want. You can also speed combat up a ton. Or you can just play it auto if you really have no want to play it like a Final Fantasy turn-based RPG game. If you want to play it more like Idle Heroes, just one click of a button. And you pretty much have the similar combat. The only difference is these bars here aren't energy bars. They are turn-based bars. So as you go through your turns, uh, the person's bar who gets closest to filled up is their next turn. The only thing I will say is I wish they had something somewhere that showed the order of combat coming up. Uh, that would make it a lot easier if you do want to manually do these battles. But as you guys can see, the combat is similar-ish. Uh, it definitely feels a lot more like a Final Fantasy style game, in my opinion. Uh, you can always leave combat at any time at the top corner, but this is pretty much like one of the boss battles. Every five levels you face like a boss wave, very much like Idle Heroes campaign, except in this game, <sighs> campaign is very important. It's where you're going to get a ton of unlocks, and of course, based on how many stars you get for each level, you can get tons of rewards, including a hero you're definitely going to want. Catherine, uh, she is very, very strong. You definitely want to get her. I believe it's the only way to get her. And of course, there's a button here that has four different difficulties for campaign. Now, beyond that, there's, of course, the typical wishing systems. There's the talent system, which is going to be pretty much like your guild tech and idle heroes. There is a milestone, which is kind of like what we have in like void vortex and such where as the like the strongest players on the server clear certain things you can get bonus rewards including summons gold potions diamonds all that fun stuff so definitely check that out um the market is very similar to idle heroes where you can buy up you know hero copies the low tier hero copies but they're actually very useful in this because you can level them up to five stars to feed off you can get summons gear which i highly say stay away from we have arena we have an event store as well so there's a lot of different things here at your disposal the temple is going to be the one place where once you finally clear it you can start acquiring mythic heroes which mythic are like those early game light they're not like transcendence heroes i would say because there are plenty of regular heroes that are as strong or stronger than mythic heroes in this game so don't be deceived by that they're kind of like what i would say is the old school light and dark heroes in the early days of idle heroes where they were definitely stronger in certain parts of the game but then weaker in others uh, there's tons of different tower um guild bosses there's tons of like puzzle games, which are pretty cool. There's a lot of fun stuff in this game that I think you guys should check out. Um, now, of course, of course, there's always going to be that paid store where you can get diamonds. You can have a growth fund, which is kind of like a 
it's kind of like the diamond fund in idle heroes where it just keeps going based on your account level uh you get the super premium summons later on you get some wishing summons if you buy the card which i think is like a 25 dollar card so the difference between this and the diamond fund is the diamond fund never gave you anything if you didn't purchase it this one you get bonus rewards if you do but you still get basic ones if you don't um diamond shop is kind of that typical thing you see in every single auto gacha game always double rewards for the first top up they are very good for the ter first top off Tr trust me on that one um there's a resource shop so this is kind of like a second market here because you can actually buy big bulk groups of summons 11 at a time for uh 1200 gems which is not a bad rate considering 120 is one so you get one bonus one which is kind of a cool thing uh one thing i will notice too that uh i didn't really notice right off the bat they actually made the wishing rates better upon global release so excellent wish it used to be a 0.5 percent chance to get a legend hero if you want to translate that into idle heroes it's like a five star hero like a five a four and a three star hero uh it used to be only a 0.5 percent they actually upped it to 0.7 percent chance as soon as global went live which I feel like it's an oddity. Usually, like they nerf stuff when it goes to global. For once, the game actually buffed a drop rate, which is cool. Uh, and then you have those supreme wishes where you can only get five or four stars, and you're guaranteed a legend hero within ten. Uh, this one, your first fifty summons gets you a guaranteed legend hero, which is amazing. If you want to do a reroll guide, uh, definitely check those out on the other channel too. Uh, but these are like the super premium. After the first fifty, I believe it goes down or it goes up to like. 170 or 200 pulls to get a next guaranteed legend hero but this is one interesting thing because there are a ton of heroes in this game i think there's like 170 most of like the elite and below are actually all the elite and below are pretty much garbage uh there's plenty of epic heroes the ones that start as four stars they can be very, very good. So that's something to keep your eye on. And I think one of the biggest things I want to talk about right here without going too much into detail awakening a hero can be done so you basically go from a five star hero to awaken one two three four five but it's not like an e5 hero in idle heroes it's more like a 10 star hero but even easier in order to level this hero up and to awaken them to like awaken them to uh awaken one star it's something like two five star heroes of any faction uh and then it goes up to three four five and five um but the cool thing is exclusives is where you use your duplicates. So in order to level up the duplicates here, or in the your exclusive item, this is where your duplicate copies come in. If you just ever get one copy of a hero, you can still take them to max level, unlike Idle Heroes where you kind of have to wait to get like five copies to make them a 10 star, uh, seven copies to make an E3, nine copies, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, it really doesn't punish you as much for not getting duplicate copies, but there are also ways like in the shop up here, I think it's in one of the period packs, in the monthly packs, uh, you can purchase these Legend Phantom Dragon Eyes. They basically count as a duplicate uh, for any hero in the game. So if you're a spender, you can get them, but you know, it is the typical gacha game where there will be a bunch of events coming through. The really cool thing is, much like Idle Heroes telling you what's gonna be coming in the future, this one does an even better job. It tells you which ones are starting soon, it tells you how many days, and there's an awesome, awesome calendar that shows you all of the events coming up and the ones that have passed. So you can really see which ones are going on. There's gonna be a summon event coming up very soon, which is gonna be very easy. It's a really awesome way of doing it. And honestly, I almost wish they would do this in Idle Heroes 2. I just don't know if their schedule is that set that far out. So let me know what you guys think. Again, do me a favor, go up to that top corner there, click the link, go to Barry Gaming 2, hit that subscribe button, try the game out free to play, trust me. It's even fun free to play. You can get completely through the campaign with like just the basic heroes you get. And uh, also make sure you check out the guides telling you who the best epic heroes are. Those four stars that are pretty much end game heroes, even as a four star epic hero. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.